Hello guys, so my name is Kate and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy watching my videos and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. So today's video is going to be about cooking, cooking salad. I really love cooking and I usually prepare my lunches for work myself. And uh, however, I don't really have a lot of time for them, so I try to make things that cook fast. And this salad, it is very fresh, very, very tasty and um, very fast to make. Uh, so the ingredients we're going to need is uh, cheese, the lettuce, we really need uh, greens, uh, dill, uh, coriander and uh, parsley, one cucumber, one red bell pepper, uh, one avocado and uh, one uh, boiled chicken breast. Uh, for the sauce we are going to need an olive oil, a balsamic vinegar, mustard, um, it's better to use honey, however I don't really have honey right now so I'm gonna use uh, one tablespoon of sugar and I also like to add a little spice, so I'm using red chili flakes. So I'm starting with cutting the lettuce. Uh, the reason I like this salad is because it is very fresh, very easy to make, it's super tasty. Um, you can make like different variations of it, it has some um, unique tastes, you know, uh, like it's sweet, a little bit sour because of the vinegar. Uh, so and you always you like you have all the things at your kitchen for sure. Uh, so you can use you don't have to use balsamic, balsamic vinegar. You can use just a normal vinegar if you like. If you don't have honey, you can use sugar. You don't have to use mustard. I just like because it, it adds a little bit um, some taste to the sauce. You don't have to use the flakes. I just love the spice in them. That's it. Um, as for the greens. I really suggest you use the parsley, dill and the coriander because I'm not a big fan of uh, greens myself actually but when you put them in this salad because of the lettuce you can actually see the greens and uh, they taste amazing and they add some amazing um, flavor to the salad which makes all the difference plus they're very healthy and definitely add them so okay now I'm gonna put my cut lettuce in the bowl by the way wash your hands because we're gonna need a lot of hands here <laughs> Now let's take our greens, you don't have to use to add avocado, I just really love avocado, that's why I'm adding it as well, but also it adds some creaminess, because you know like avocados are creamy and they are very good, they contain very healthy oils, fats in them, yeah, so that's why I'm adding it as well. I'm also thinking about making a video about like different lunches, lunch ideas. Uh, easy ones. I just think it will be very interesting for people to see what there are many options to make, healthy options to make for your lunch that don't take a lot of time making for making and taste amazing. By the way, like, what is, is there anything better than a homemade food? Like I think no, I prefer homemade food for to, like, everything. It's great to cook. I also love cooking. I don't know how I came up with the, this salad. I mean, it's pretty like standard salad. There's nothing very special here, but I remember my mom and I, uh, we cooked, I think, something similar uh, on New Year last year. Uh, yeah, but we, uh, we didn't add greens. We put orange and grapefruit inside and with the same sauce and it's also very tasty you know you can make it uh, when you have guests it will be something you need because like we don't really cook everyday salads with oranges and with grapefruits but it's really good for this kind of occasions you know um, and then my grandma she's cooking the salad, the salad with the greens and I kind of decided to mix both of them together and that's what I came up with now the cucumber, I 
don't really want to peel it. I'm gonna cut it in half and then put it like this. I hope you can see so. And I'm gonna cut it you know, diagonally so it looks pretty. Just something I like to do. By the way, if you hear someone, that's my mom. Because now I'm at my mom's place. Yes, by the way, if you have noticed, I'm in a different kitchen, right? So that's my mom's place. They have made renovations recently and I just love this apartment. It's amazing. So I might be making and cooking some food here more often than in my grandma's place. Now the bell pepper. You can cut your bell pepper as you like. I prefer to cut it like half moon shape. So I just cut it in half. Just like this. I take the seeds out because we don't need them. By the way, I'm running so late. And I just cut it, cut it in the Shape, shape. Okay. As you can see, the colors are just amazing for ourselves. Okay, now the avocado. Of course, like you don't have to add all these ingredients. These are just combinations that I like, I prefer because they are very tasty. They contain vitamins that are very good for our health and after eating this salad I feel very full. By the way this portion is gonna be very huge so you can do like the half portion of it but I just prefer to take it all because sometimes I get hungry later and I also continue eating the salad or I give it to share it with some of my co-workers. Now okay I finally uh, peeled my avocado now I'm just gonna cut it like this uh, so now I'm going to not round how is this called the cheese yes so I prefer to, I I advise you to take like a very hard cheese it's just a Georgian cheese you can use parmesan it's also it will be amazing here it adds a creaminess to the salad together with this avocado I just love it so much and I prefer to use the small ones yeah I think that's enough I use a lot of cheese you can use less that's actually really a lot see that it's more than I intended to have. That's fine. It's cheese. It can be more. It can, it can be a lot of cheese. Okay, so cheese is grounded, but I'm gonna leave it here. Now for the chicken. You should just boil uh, one chicken breast and the tip to make your chicken breast boiled chicken breast uh, taste uh, very nice and tender so that it's not uh, like a rubber yeah to leave it in water for like 15 30 minutes depending on how much time you have and then i'm just gonna shred it into pieces just like that and put it in our salad just like that now for the sauce first of all let's put olive oil um so i don't have any proportions actually what i do is i just take a can and I put my balsamic vinegar and olive oil so that they are kind of like the same here so this it's about like a centimeter or half centimeter you know so I just make it the same you can do the same thing I don't have proportions my grandma is crazy you know with proportions and she's always asking me how much did you put that how much this and I'm like I have no idea I'm just doing it okay a little more okay is there about the same oh, it's so nice you can see it on the camera 
Now I'm taking mustard, one tablespoon of mustard, a little bit of sugar, like that, and the chili flakes. So it's important not to put, put a lot, and of course I put a lot. <laughs> so now that's our sauce. I'm just going to close close the can and shake it. Just like that. And if you put honey, it's better to shake it right away and then shake it again when you're going to pour it on your salad because honey sticks to the end and of the can and it's better like not can jar. And it's better to shake it from the very beginning so it doesn't stick. So now we are going to mix our salad. It's better to use your hands. So I'm not going to be putting my sauce right now because as I said, I'm going to take this to job, to my work. It's my lunch today. And I'm going to pour the sauce when I, when I will be eating it, of course. But generally, that's just it. You put cheese on top like that so that's our salad it looks incredible doesn't it yep it's so tasty like it's amazing i promise you <laughs> So this is gonna be it for today guys, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video, as you can see it's a very easy salad to make, very fast and it's really really great, trust me. So if you make the salad, let me know what you think, how it tastes, did you like it? And thank you for watching, I hope you will come back and I will see you very soon, bye guys!